Hello everyone. My name is Satish and I'm glad to welcome you all to an interesting panel discussion on adverb, our journey and our solutions. Beer Singh. Beer is the chief growth officer at Adverb and brings two decades of experience in project management, product development and designing warehouse automation solutions. Sangeet is the global CEO of Adverb Technologies. He has more than two decades of experience in designing and deploying automation solutions across factories and warehouses. Prabhudev Dakshin Murthy. Prabhu is President Sales at Adverb Technologies and leads the sales for India and Australia market. He has extensive experience in the field of material handling from solution design to project management and has worked with the likes of Dematic, Mebac and Bastion Solutions. Mark Messina. Mark is the CEO of Adverb Americas and brings extensive experience of scaling global organizations focused on robotics, automation, IoT, AI and ML. He has extensive experience of deploying solutions based on mobile robotics for different customers. Ankur Yadav leads the key accounts vertical at Adverb and has more than a decade of experience in warehouse operations and has designed automation solutions for a host of companies across different sectors like pharma, fashion and lifestyle, grocery and e-commerce. You have really worked on robotics and company and scaled companies globally which are working on software, AI, ML. So and we are seeing there are a lot of mobile robotic companies out there. So what do you think is Adverb's differentiator and what do you think is the application of mobile robotics in e-commerce? Yeah, so I'll start with Adverb's differentiator. Um, there are a few that come to mind right off the bat. First of all, Adverb is an end-to-end -end integrator. So typically, other robotics companies are point solutions. I, I can't think of another robotics company that is an integrator. I can think of integrators that have robotics, but they're dealing with legacy systems. They're trying to integrate something they acquired. So whether it's the software that they've built up over many, many years and, and is inefficient to sustain it and maintain it and develop it and customize it, or whether it's an acquisition that they made and they really don't understand how to, how to make that work. So they tend to struggle to make the integration work between the different pieces and also the customization for the operation. This takes a lot of time. It's very expensive. It's a lot of man hours. Um, Adverb is very lean in that respect. I kind of think of Adverb like the Tesla of integrators, right? We're starting, everybody says, well, you really can't do that because you can't take on the big guys. But actually, our software is so dynamic and so easy for us to, to work with it that that's a huge advantage. We can make things happen that other companies really struggle with because our software is built on the latest tools. And it's, it's a very um, optimized stack because it's not, it's not dealing with years of legacy. The other side is we own our own robot design, so we can, we can make all of these things integrated very easily. So that's one aspect. As an integrator, we're very smooth, very effective, very efficient in how we develop the solutions and what we can, the value we can squeeze out of the systems. If somebody wants something special, a system to operate a certain way, an integrator may really struggle to develop the software to make that work. It, it may just not be possible. But for us, it's, it's quite easy. So that's one piece. Um, you know, I, I think I hit on the fact that we're both, you know, lean with software and, and an integrator. Um, the other piece is we're able to operate like a traditional robotics company. So we can sell a point solution, which is just robotics that can integrate into somebody else's larger platform. So we can work in Greenfield and develop a whole warehouse, or we can go into the Brownfield space and bring in a point solution or um, AMRs that can operate mostly in a, brown, in a Brownfield environment. Uh, so these are some of the advantages with Adverb. And what do you think, uh, how, what is the future of AMR applications in e-commerce and other sectors? That's an interesting question. Um, you know, Adverb is part of an ecosystem with, with, our, with our prime investor that has a lot of different technologies. And I think we benefit from that, one of those being 5G. Um, we can put through 5G a lot more intelligence on the robot and at the same time reduce the cost quite a bit. Um, another benefit there is the fact that we can enhance the operation. The, the way systems run, not just the robots and not just the way the warehouse runs, but we're actually benefiting from the ability to do cloud compute with a lot of analytics and learnings across multiple customers. And we can still sanitize data and all of this, but that learning propagates out to the benefit of our customers, which is to the benefit of their customers. So I think that there is 
a lot coming down the pipeline in terms of where robotics is going. Um, you know, we have AGVs. I think we started with AGVs, which were QR code following bots. Now we have AMR technology, which are able to operate without infrastructure and very easy to deploy and can work in a variety of environments. And I think as we look forward, we have to think back to where Kiva kind of inverted warehousing and think about, okay, what's that was a big paradigm shift. What's the next paradigm shift? What's coming next that's gonna really make people think, wow, that, that, we never thought of that before. That really squeezes even much more efficiency than we, than we have today out of, a, out of interlogistics. And we're working on that. Really great. So just one last question before we <laughs> conclude. So what is, what is one solution that you would really like to talk about, one out of the box innovation that you did while designing a solution? So there are many, so I think Sagi- If we could just touch upon one. Yeah, so uh, the way we used our product is the uniqueness which we have. In, uh, so we used uh, our uh, Zippy series robot, which is a sortation robot. So mostly these robots are used for sortation, consolidation of order. So all the empty boxes or empty gear lords or empty bags are still moved by people. But the way we have done it by using our own quadron, which is a shuttle, uh, unit, unit load shuttle. Uh, so that is quite unique. Like, uh, and maybe, so, so we have file patent about this. So maybe after some time you'll hear about this, what we have done, and it's, it's really good. Yeah, so uh, this solution, what it does is, uh, it is not only about consolidating. So if there are multiple line items in the order and these order, all these line items before they are packed, otherwise it is easy. And this is what was normal, which was uh, individual items. Uh, you order from uh, a e-commerce site and you order four items. Yeah, all these four items comes in separate package. That is the easiest way for the warehouse to handle, but it is a costly way. and e-commerce started that way but uh, you cannot afford uh, you you have to pay for four courier uh, cost and it is not manageable so what uh, companies and what we have been enabled to do uh, is we get all these items at a particular time window for them to come together at one place and then with our robotic solution we consolidate it into a bin. Now this bin is, uh, you need to provide that empty bin for consolidation, for collecting all these line items. And this bin needs to be taken to the packing for automatic uh, uh, packaging and then uh, distribution to the courier, uh, to the various courier agencies. So this whole system, whole piece of automation with a very robust software, that is something which we have done uniquely uh, for one of our very large uh, customer uh, uh, in uh, sportswear fashion, uh, and we are doing it again uh, for a very large uh, customer uh, in April uh, in Middle East. One more uh, solution we would like to talk about. So there is a big beverage company. They had a like they have already prepared a RFP or RFQ for the solution. So they have a limited space. So they want to put warehouse, they want to do full case picking from that limited space. And the way we thought about the solution and we presented it to the customer. So, so in that, I think in that we were the least known company, which customer thought that like, so we, so we were not known, we were fighting against all the big giants. But the way we designed our case picking solution under the warehouse itself was quite unique. And, uh, so you're saying uh, the racks were above and the case picking yes, solution so the, was Yeah, so at the bottom of the st st storage system we have done this. It's very, very unique thing which we have done. And uh, we were not very confident, but we gave it a try and uh, we feel uh, again like, you know, I'm using pride word again and again, but like, you know, now it's operational and it's, it's a, uh, was to watch kind of stuff. And uh, uh, what is unique about this solution is uh, it is fully automated. So the supply of pallets or SKUs for making that rainbow pallet is fully automated. The formation of rainbow pallet again 
is fully automated with various picking technologies and the delivery of this rainbow pallet to a particular dock is fully automated and that that is that is the beauty of this it's solution. basically goods to person kind of stuff for case picking mm. yes. and so because it's, it's only complete one system replenishment which generally people don't think of or uh, it gets neglected in the complete cycle that is also fully automated yeah. it's really amazing the kind of magic that adverb pulls by exploring the limits of automation yeah great thank you all thank yeah. you